Hey everyone, this is Jordan from PictureMonk.com and welcome to another Picture Monk Mimic video. Uh, I love doing these videos. It's really awesome to to just try to see if you can edit like other photographers and, and you end up learning stuff along the way. And so that's why I really like doing these videos. Hope you like them as well. And so uh, in this video, I'm going to edit this photo, this this Golden State Bridge photo here, and I'm going to try to mimic this style of photo. And you can see how kind of cool misty effect it is. It's got, um, you know, it definitely has a split tone effect and it's just, it creates a really moody photo. So I want to create that same effect on uh, the Golden State Bridge photo. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, like always, uh, the, the free preset will be available, the free Lightroom preset will be available to you on PictureMonk.com. Uh, link in the show notes below. You can go down there and download the free preset, preset uh, to use on your photos as well. Or you can just follow along. It's always fun to do that as well. So uh, let's go and get started. The first thing we need to do is get the colors right. I think that's the main part we need to do. So I'm not going to touch any of the white balance or anything like that, but I am going to convert it to black and white. This will help with the split toning effect. And so let's speak into split toning. Let's go ahead and get that started. Let's get that out of the way. So I'm going to go down here to split toning, and I'm going to try to mess with a... Uh, a kind of uh, let's bump, let's bump saturation up so we can see what we're dealing with here. Uh, sort of a, a kind of a dull color. That's kind of what I'm going for. A dull yellowish green. Um, I think I like it somewhere around there. But let's just go up a couple increments and see what it looks like. It's a little too saturated, so I'm just going to keep that to a little lower, right around there. And then let's go to the shadows. The shadows is really going to bring out the color. We can pick it through here, but I'm just going to play around with the hue. So right around there, I think, I think uh, just kind of playing with the hue and saturation, trying to match the colors a little bit. I might have to break, uh, break down and do some more highlights work here, uh, but we'll see how that looks. Uh, I'm just still playing around with it as I'm talking. Uh, we'll just leave it right there. That's that's getting it pretty close. And so uh, now that we got the split toning out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, go back to the basic panel and start messing with some of our uh, contrast sliders and uh, lighting sliders here. So we're going to take our contrast all the way down. You can tell it, it's it's not a real contrasty photo. So that's, that's one reason I'm doing that. I'm going to take the highlights down as well. So probably around there. Actually, I think I might want to give a little bit more contrast than that. Uh, oh, shadows. Let's bump the shadows up a little bit. Ooh, I don't know if I like the way that looks. Let's take the blacks down. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Yeah. Now let's take the shadows up and see what that looks like. Right around there. I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, Clarity is really going to help with this. Sharpen those mid-tones. Let's bump that up. And I know it looks a little more crunchy than usual, but some of the uh, fading effects I'm going to do is going to kind of take that down. So I think that looks good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, go down to detail. Is that what I want to do? Let's do some vignetting. So I'm going to take the vignetting down. And then also to help with some of the um, foggy effect, I'm going to do a little bit of minus dehaze here. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. And then uh, now, I think this is the part where we do the fading effects. And for that, I'm going to use a gradient mask or a gradient filter. So uh, you can kind of see in the other photo, it was it's mirrored, but this area over here is basically over here in the other photo. And it's kind of faded out, fuzzy, and uh, you can't really make out what's going on over there. So I'm going to take a gradient mask and fill, uh, go all the way over to the left. And I'm going to take my exposure. Let's, let's go up a little bit. Not too much clarity all the way down. I want to make that kind of fuzzy. Uh, contrast, do the same there. Maybe drag this out a little more. And then we're going to do another one. So I'm going to click new, do another gradient mask, and go from the bottom here. And then I'm going to take the clarity on that one down as well. Kind of fade it in a little bit. Kind of like that. I think I like the way that looks. However, um, and maybe just because this is a JPEG, I'm going to apply a little bit of noise reduction to try to smooth some of that out. So if you download the preset that I'm using, it will have the noise reduction layer on there. If you find that your photo doesn't need it, just go ahead and take it down to zero. And that is about it. I think I like the way that looks. I'm still playing around with the exposure. But I'm, I think I'm going to keep it there, again, because it was... 
it was not a real high contrast photo and that's kind of what I'm struggling with but I think that looks good I think I'm gonna keep it that way so I think they match pretty well the editing styles match pretty well uh, even if you're not familiar if you don't like the effect and you're not familiar with split toning split toning can be very fun to apply effects to your photo so I hope you guys enjoyed that picture monk mimic video I love doing these and let me know if you find any more that you would want me to try to mimic and give you a free preset for so thanks for joining me in this video this is Jordan for picturemonk.com and I'll see you in the next one